Hi guys, in this video we're going to introduce three, what's called 3D referencing and really that's just a fancy name for working across multiple worksheets that have almost identical formatting and placement of their objects and you want to apply something simultaneously across all these worksheets. So the example I've created here I have four sheets here that I'm interested in. So we'll call sheet 1A, sheet 2B, sheet 3C, and sheet 4D. Okay, I'm down here if you're trying to follow along. And we're only interested in these last four sheets. And as you can see as I click through them, they are almost identical except for different numbers and different suppliers. So the sheet A is corresponds to supplier 1 it's in column B. Sheet B expands to supply, sh supplier 2, sheet C supplier 3, and sheet D supplier 4. And notice that the they all have their data in column B between cells B1 and B11. Okay. Now let's say I want to do something to this to each of these uh, bits of uh, data but I don't want to do it separately to each one I want to do the same exact thing and I only want to do it once okay so I can obviously do it the slow way let's say I wanted to format this make this wider uh, put the totals here the averages the average and the variance let's say if I'm interested in these three numbers I can do this one by one, do the sum function, blah, 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 right? But I don't want to do that four times, one time for each of these sheets. So what I can do is I can go on the first sheet, hold the shift key on the keyboard, and then click on the last sheet. And as you can see, there's a slight difference in color between these four sheets down here. and the rest of these sheets okay as you can see these are kind of a darker uh, a blue a light blue whereas the ones I click become like a white or a silver okay so these sheets are all selected okay <clears throat> so once they're all selected I'm on the first sheet and now I can do whatever I want and what I do will, the same exact thing will apply to all the sheets that are selected that's why it's important for all the data to be in the same exact cell range across all the sheets okay so let's go ahead and do some of the things we're interested in doing first of all we want to uh, make this column B a little wider let's say exactly with 50 okay next we want to increase the font of the header to 14 okay now we want to format these numbers as comma style with two decimal places and center them. Okay. Actually, let's make them number. Let's make them dollar figures and leave it at that. Okay. Next, we want to get the sum, the average, and the minimum and maximum of these numbers. Okay, and we want to bold all of these. So I'm doing formatting and computation at the same time because I want to illustrate that everything I do here is going to apply to the other three sheets that I've highlighted, supplier two, three, and four. Okay, so let's get the sum. Equals sum. I'm going to highlight my range. I've already named this range, by the way, supplier one. If you don't know, uh, how to do that. There's a video I just made on naming cell ranges. So I named that range supplier 1. Hit enter. That's the sum. I want the average of this range. I want the minimum value in this range. And I want the maximum value in this range. And these are all functions that we've learned how to use. And if you are not comfortable with them, be sure to check out my Excel uh, tutorial videos on my channel. 
Okay, let's now format these numbers as comma separated to distinguish them from those. And let's also bolden them and maybe reduce their font. Okay, I just want to show you that everything we do here is going to apply to the other sheets. And now maybe we give a border to these numbers and give a slight color to there. Okay, so now we've done some work here. We've done some functions, we've done some formatting, and now we're going to see the fruits of our labor. We did it one time for sheet A, supplier 1, and now we're just going to click on sheet B, disengage the selection of all the cells, and see that it's all been applied to supplier 2 with its numbers, supplier 3, supplier 4. Okay? And actually, what has happened is <clears throat> because all the cells are selected simultaneously, all the sh everything we do on the first sheet gets applied to all the sheets after, all the sheets we've selected. Okay? So be sure to have all your cells lined up, and this way you'll be able to do. Uh, the work one time. Now this becomes really helpful when you have 20, 30 sheets that you need to to make updates to or to put some uh, generic formula in. Okay. So till next time, watch my other Excel videos. I got access tutorial, PowerPoint, math, statistics, and much more on my channel. Subscribe and click on our sponsors' ads. That's what keeps these tutorials coming to for to you for free. Till next time, have a